The wife washes the dishes. This is a fact of history. You can observe it in every house in America tonight. Not every house. This is where we have to make the speech about, obviously there are exceptions, disclaimer, disclaimer, sometimes the husband washes the dishes, but overall, generally speaking, in the grand scheme of things, the wife washes the dishes or does whatever it is that's the stuff the husband just is never going to do. So washing the dishes may not even be the best example. Who does the laundry? Who does the laundry? Who switches out the kids' clothes every season? Who picks up all the junk in the yard that uh, got left out there when it's not lawn mowing day? There are all these things that kind of fit into these weird little corners of life that are never going to change. That will never go away. And so that is the great lie of feminism, that it has solved for all these problems. It still hasn't. Uh, the details may change. It may not be about even about dishwashing in particular, but there are still always going to be jobs that the man is not going to do. And if the woman wants them done, she's going to do them herself. So feminism didn't fix that, and uh, it's very disingenuous of feminists to pretend like they have because I know I'm going to be washing dishes tonight. The real challenge of feminism would be to motivate a man to care about those things. Exactly. Like the and the laundry, and you know, whether or not your children's nails have been clipped. But <laughs> feminism cannot convince the men that those things really, really matter. And as a result, they fall to the people who do care about those things. And as we discuss in Ladylike, they're the women who care about those things, which is why we do them. But there should even be a contentment in that. There should even be a part of us that says, the man doesn't care about this. And so it's not important to him. It's not his priority. I do care about it. And if I'm the one who cares about how the dishes are washed, how the clothes are folded, fill in the blank with what, whatever domestic task falls to the woman, then she should be the one to do it because she cares about it. There's such a double standard in that anyway. I do not care about the lawn. I would let it grow into an untouched prairie. It would be, it, you know, it would just be a wilderness. And I would be totally fine with that. Um, my husband is going to mow the lawn. Moreover, he does not care that I don't care about mowing the lawn. That doesn't bother him. The difference is that women get mad about the things men don't care about. Men don't care that women don't care about their things. And that is where the resentment um, that, you know, can take over in households, that's where it comes from. Because men are totally cool with it, that chicks are into chick things and not into dude things but women are not okay with the fact that men don't care about chick things. So that's where, you know, we keep creating these new hoops for them to jump through and, well, now he's washing the dishes, but he doesn't even know who wears what size. It just is, it, it uh, spirals into ridiculousness, but they'll never care. I think we should be honest with everybody about that.